Well, on day one of this triple header of Super Series events, the world number one took the title. It was Gerwin Price. The ball. Top of the pile at the end of the day yesterday. Will it be the world number 25. two winning on day two? That little battle for who is the best. 25. Is continuing, but Peter Wright is not going to walk to this title, especially 25. if Ryan Searle produces anything like he did in the semi-finals. I'll leave Paul Nicholson outside to Ryan's talk viewers who might not have seen that through it because you were commenting to throw on first. it, Paul, and it was a quite remarkable performance from Ryan Searle, wasn't it? We've talked a lot about the performance of Keegan Brown yesterday in round one. That was special. But the Searle performance in his semi-final to win 7-0 and average the best of the week so far and the best in his career by over four points. Yeah, he's in form all right. And Peter Wright's got a problem here with Ryan Searle. And he's got one very early. Five treble twenties in the first six darts of this match. Sit down, have a cuppa, and watch this. This could be very, very special. Ryan Searle immediately levels up 97. the maximum tally between the pair for the afternoon. 18 apiece now. Six, well, six scored. 25. It'll probably take out the 156, though. Even when he's scoring two treble ones, it looks good. Peter Wright has had a very typical day, 100. full of quality. And he's ready for another title, but Searle is looking to take the 156. Oh, and he nearly does for a 12 dart at to start this final off. Well, Paul called it, and he almost made Paul a mystic. 43. Well, only 43 from right, allowing Searle the luxury of less pressure than he might have faced. 10. Right, we'll come back looking at this 1-2-1. One, one. He's the master of the 1-2-1, one, one, isn't he? He's won titles on this number. And he's not going to win this leg on a 1-2-1. One, one. Searle, who has fiddled 89. around a little bit here, just needs to take care of business. Nice guide. Is that awkward? That's a big barrel he's got to get away from. Oh, yeah, and that's a shot. great shot. That might be the best 18 dart that he's had all day. And I doubt after that opening leg that Ryan Searle is going to post a similar average to the semi-final. That was 116.9. Oh, come on, Murph. You know better than that. We, we were here for the final yesterday between... Price and Hetter. He was only averaging 88, 88 at one point, and he turns out with a 107. This is true. But just to talk you through how well Ryan Searle performed 100. in that match, it was quite incredible. Going out in 96. 10 darts in the first leg, then 16, 12, 13, 13, 12, 14. Did have a shot in the last leg at tops with three in hand. He took up the second. 100. If he did hit it with the first shot, he would have had an average of 118.22, which is exactly 57. the European Tour record set by Dave Chisnell. All right, he's had this finish already once today, but he won't take it out again here. He bettered 82. Dimitri Vandenberg in the semi finals in repeat of the world match player final. Eight wins on the spin now against the Belgian for Peter Wright. 140. He certainly is mastering his apprentice. Double 11. Game shot. He's level. I think this one could go all the way just like yesterday. The amount of 180s he hits with those big bulbous 32 gram barrels, it just baffles me. There have been players in the history of this game with big, heavy barrels. And whenever I talk about the history of darts and big, heavy barrels, I go to Dave Whitcomb. And I think, how could he possibly have hit 180s? But Ryan Searle, 140. he's constantly battering that 60 bed, purely because his points are a little bit longer. 
with that 32 gram barrel. He really has made them his own. Well, it's a 180 in each of 100. the legs in which Searle has thrown first, and that makes it very difficult for your opponent to break. 85. He looks more relaxed in this final than I've seen him in his previous two. One which he won and one which he lost. And the one he lost, he should have won it. 140. It's 18 months now since he beat Michael Van Gerwen to pick up his first title. He's ready for another. Double 18. Can't 60. find it again. Peter Wright couldn't take out the 1 2 1 combo last time out. Can he take out the 127? And game. Maybe, baby, on the ball. Ooh, nice leave just in case. We won't expect to return. Double nine. Oh, big misses at the start of this final. You can't give these chances to the world match play champ. Correct. Game shot. The analysis from the asset. Peter Wright breaks and draws first blood in this final as he finds a red bit at the top of the board to get on top of Ryan Searle after three legs. I was having a chat with Dan Dawson earlier today about Peter's darts. 135. And, and Peter's proclivity of you know, over-analyzing his equipment. But I'll go back to something that Wayne Mardle said about me maybe 10, 11 years ago. At that time, I said I was the best double 16 shooter in the world. And Wayne said, it doesn't matter whether he is or not. It's the fact that he thinks he is. When it comes to Peter Wright and his equipment, whether there's a massive difference in having a gold coating on his barrels or not, it doesn't matter. It's the question of what he thinks they do. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. And as the best commentator in the world, I think you're absolutely right there, Paul. You can't possibly call someone the best commentator 100. on your birthday. Well... Ryan Searle's going to put himself well placed here, although the last start just got away from him. Can Peter Wright get away from him in this match? Treble 19, another, or the single. And now the bullseye. And he's edging nearer, isn't he? Might need a shot like this just to steer with Peter. Back to his bankable tops. 95. It was working in the semi with his eyes closed. Right there, it gets a shake of the head. And right needs double eight for a two leg gap. Nine. Oh, that's a big miss. Very fortunate for Searle. Who keeps missing. 15. And keeps missing again. He's showing Peter Wright too much in the way of misses. Well, this is going to have to be a brilliant dart from the right-hand side. He's really good at this step to the right, though. No and score. that is very reminiscent of the Premier League final. Double eight, the same double. And he's missed it five times. Well, you were talking about those big bulbous darts that players have used in the past. Peter Wright had a set of them at the match play, and they were the best finishing yeah, sure. darts that he's ever used. Perhaps he needed them because Searle has just levelled up at two apiece. Interesting, the difference in equipment. Ryan Searle with those heavy darts. Peter Wright, who changes all the time. Do you know what I want to see on the dart show? I want to see a segment where you get someone like Peter Wright playing against Ryan Searle in a leg of 501, but Peter's got to use Ryan's darts, and Ryan's got to use Peter's. 60. Now, I've got no doubt in my mind that Peter Wright can use Ryan's darts, but I've got a severe doubt as to whether Ryan can use a dart that's 12 grams 100. lighter. Yeah, interesting thought. Pitch it to the producers. I always think of Peter Manley when I think of big darts. Of course, he used to go under the nickname One Dart. I think it was because he could only fit one in the 100. treble. I think his oldest set used to be made of old fish weights, didn't it? 177. That's a 177 from Searle to get himself to 156 which he's already had a shot at in this match. He's been given a lifeline in 60. this final in the early stages. Could he take it this time? 
140. That is a good plan B. Well, if Ryan Searle is to lose this final, he would lose more legs in one match and he's lost the rest of the day because he's only lost seven to get here. That's so impressive. 41. And that was the parting shot, of course, of Dan Dawson in the semi-final. Double eight it is. Double four. Eight. Again, he's missing doubles. That's not going to do his confidence on doubles under pressure later in this final any good. Yeah, missing an awful lot of doubles in this match. 55. So 17 squandered already. 18, 19, but Game not 20, shot. and he does get ahead. How good might this performance be without all these missed darts at double? He's showing us that he's got levels. He can have that immaculate game and average 116.9. 93. But he can get in front of the world number two with all those misses at double because his treble 20 shooting is so, so good. Peter Wright's going to have to get busy on that lipstick if he's going to stay with Ryan Searle because 100. he genuinely can score... 180 is with the best. He switches well, brilliantly to set up a nine shot. Well, could he ice the cake 60. here, Ryan Sir? 147 on offer. I thought he was going to give you one for your 107. birthday. 107. Wow, it's still a brilliant leg, leaving tops after nine. Well, it would, of course, be a leg in which we saw a one four seven break and a nine dart leg. Nice. One hundred and forty. Ten darter will do. Game shot. And that's what Ryan Searle gets. And bearing in mind that a couple of his winning legs have been in eighteen darts, that was much needed, not just to break Peter Wright, but just to. Let him know that he can hit a double first dart in hand. 60. As far as the world rankings are concerned, they're not going to change whoever wins this final and gets to eight first. It's just the tally of titles and, of course, the security that Ryan Searle has in his race for the World Grand Prix, which, by the way, he's looking extremely safe now. But Ryan Searle is going to remain at 33 in the world. Peter Wright's going to remain at two, but a fabulous point was made earlier in the week by someone online that I'd completely forgotten about. Peter Wright is in a quest for the 92. world number one spot and would be the first Scottish player to get to the summit. If indeed he can. 140. If he's going to do so, I think he's going to have to do it before the Worlds because he's defending that big chunk of cash at Ali Pali this year, the 500,000. I wouldn't back against him getting a second world title, though. And I wouldn't back against him taking the 106, if given the chance. Oh, that was close to a 51. And for a microsecond, Ryan Searle thought that was in. Well, his first 89. 180 of the match just set up the chance of this 106. And it is a chance to break straight back for Peter Wright. 14, 32. No Game problem shot. at all. Peter Wright not allowing Ryan Searle to get a run on him here. Extraordinary kahunas from Peter Wright there because he's not breaking a sweat. Look at his brow. There's not one piece of sweat DNA there. 180. And look at that on a pinhead, that 180. To be able to do this under pressure in a final, it's just normal behaviour for Snakebite. It took him... Six legs to get one. Now he has two. One hundred and forty. Not three, and I think Paul, you thought that was going to go in, didn't you? I genuinely thought the lie was perfect. If he just snuck it in between the two flights, it was going to nestle in there. One hundred. He does look so likely to get nine daughters when he's in this sort of mood. Amazed that Peter Wright hasn't hit more nine darters in his career. 45. The way that Ryan Searle's playing at the minute, and the way he loves tops. If he can get through the 41. first round at the World Grand Prix, he could 
have a massive, massive tournament in Leicester. A bed fellow for a dart at double eight. Game shot. Peter Wright is reeling Ryan back in here. A wonderful couple of legs to restore parity after eight. And it looks like we might get a thrilling final again. 60. Yesterday was a last leg shootout. It didn't look like going that way, but Gerwin Price produced a stunning display from 6-2 behind. In this one, we might just be going blow for blow 91. right the way through it. And whoever wins in the last leg will trouser the 10,000 pounds. We've had a 1-0-6, one, oh, then a 1-3-6 to get level at 4-4. Four, four. And I'm a big believer in patterns, but we can't get a 1-6-6 six, six finish from Peter Wright in this leg, unfortunately. Well, both of those legs 60. completed in 12 darts for Snake Bite as well as he ups his game. Just going back to the 9-dart thing, would you be surprised if I told you that Peter Wright has only hit three 9-darters in his career? Yeah, absolutely. His first back in 2015... A players championship event one streamed in 2017 and then at the premier league last year oh he was on for the 350 and six though and that's rarer than a nine daughter i've only seen one of those this year 140. good response from ryan searle peter wright will be hoping to leave himself handy he certainly found his range in the last two or three minutes in this match 145. Got to keep the pressure on. That leaves 58. That's a great miss. Because it leaves tops and it's clear. 39. But it's not in. Peter Wright for three in a row to take the lead from 4-2 down. He's looking at the 25. That's the danger. A central single for double four. For 5-4. Ooh, he gets the university challenge zoom on double four there, but doesn't get the answer right. Ryan Game does. Shot. If he keeps leaving tops in this final and gets chances, Wright's got all sorts of work to do. He certainly has been challenged by heavy metal. One hundred right who opens. With a weighty visit. 140. That's a bit of a John Partism, that one. An open. I love that vernacular. And I love this leg so far. But he's missed dart five. 100. It's up to Searle to double down on the 140s to get in touch, and it's very likely. 100. This is the middle portion of the game yesterday where Gerwin Price put his foot to the floor. Peter Wright is just producing magnetic darts right now. 140. Everything in the scoring phase seems to be a ton 40 or a ton 80. The average is climbing. 180. As it is for Searle, who's up to around about 95 now. 81 each. But now, after 10, he's got 24. That Game is shot. absolutely pristine from Snakebite for 5-5. Five, five. 10 deep. And we've got 5 to go, potentially. 123. Well, his last three winning legs now. 12-12-11. Peter Snakebite, right, doing something similar to what Gerwin Price did yesterday. Absolutely well put. Because 12 dart is 125.25. 11 dart is a lot more than that. And I had a conversation with him yesterday, uh, this morning, very briefly at breakfast. 81. And he just had that look in his eye, as if to say that the 128 that Gerwin put in yesterday for eight legs in the final was almost like a red rag to Peter Snake bite right. And he wants to do something similar. 140. Well, at the start of this afternoon's action, we had a chat about Price's interview. You made the point that 60. he was aware of what other players were doing. And I just wonder how aware Peter Wright was of that interview. Because Dan asked Price if he just reminded everybody that he was still the world number one after everybody had been talking about 60. Peter having mastered the match play. 
It's almost as if Peter Wright today has gone, well, you know what, I'm going to prove that I'm the best player in the world. 100. What would be really apt is if Peter wins this final and then it's Price versus Wright in the final tomorrow, but Ryan Searle is going to have something to say about that. I am not discounting him at all here because he is very much in this final. But that 140 140. gives Wright the more doable finish. He has the chance to hit the front here, Peter Wright. 99. For the first time since leg three. Could have been a different story had Searle not missed 21 darts at double in this match. Both players have hit five. Searle will have the chance 49. to make that six. Base of the board. Can't miss double one. And Game doesn't. Shot. Oh, that was perilously close to that treble 17 to bust the score, but what a beautiful switch to the top of the board. That's probably one of the best double ones he's ever hit. He wouldn't have meant that, and he is a, a player that loves his darts. He's very rhythmic, he's very quick, so to have adjusted and found it so perfectly is brilliant from Ryan Searle. That was so close to the 43. single three and 17 wire. I'm amazed that he even knew what it had hit because his eyesight is abysmal. Yeah, just struggle with his vision. Ryan Searle. 140. French career choices. Ryan Searle's made for a man who can barely see. Window cleaner, and now professional darts player. 60. Well, if you are in the midst of getting ready for work and he turns up to clean your windows, you don't have to close the curtains because he can't see anything. Peter Wright having a closer inspection at those darts. Yes, they are both in, Peter. I'd go 25 here to leave 96. The bullseye indeed would leave something even better. Absolutely the right player. Gets himself down to two dart range. A dominant leg from Peter Wright. It could be another winning leg in four visits here. Winning the heads. The last three have been 12, 12, 11. Game show. Another shot. 12 data from Peter Wright to tie things up at six apiece. One thing I have to say, because it's I'm 10 years removed from my last title. One hundred. When I was winning titles, I wasn't playing this good. I wasn't playing anywhere near this good. 103 for Peter Wright, but it looks better than that. 94 for Searle, and he is hanging on in there. But he has one ace in the pack here. He has got the darts. Those early missed opportunities at double 100. could have seen him stretch his lead, but Wright has reeled him in. He does have the darts in two of the last three legs, Ryan Searle, but Peter Wright is making his move here. 140. 140 count is getting a bit silly for Peter Wright. He's up to 15 now in this game. 100. There are people who haven't hit 15 140s in their life. Yeah, both players have hit as many 140s as they have tons in this tie. Could we see 100. a massive 170 out here? We're not going to see it. The 127 is just as big, but what can Searle leave? 43. Well, if Peter Wright can take out this 127, it might well be the game. Does he get the treble or the single? It's the bullseye. He had a little check to see where Ryan Searle was. Wow, he's laid down the gauntlet. That is ballsy. That's incredible. And Searle hasn't. 49. That is Mind Games United right there. I can't believe he did that, but it has worked. Only if he hits double eight. Game and it shot. has worked. Wow, I can't believe he did that. That was pure Eric Bristol behavior from Peter Wright. Yeah, but even, even when 
Bristow did it in that famous final against Keith Della. Della needed two trebles. Searle didn't there. That was a, a remarkable play, a remarkable ploy by Peter Wright, but it might be the play that wins him the final. 140. I honestly thought he was checking to see whether Ryan was on a finish. I'll tell you what, it worked. 140. But I, I don't advocate it, especially in a final. There, yeah, well, we were talking about Ryan Searle's sight earlier on. I think he might be seeing red now. <laughs> seeing plenty of Peter Wright starts hit the red, that's for sure. This is great resistance from Ryan Searle. Absolutely sublime to get his sixth 180 of this final. Is it going to be two finals in two days that go all the way? 130. Well, we have to rely on Peter Wright not taking out 91, but he's going to be right behind him. 127. Perched on 54 to force a decider. He's going to go 25 first. He did this in the semi-final to finish off Dimitri Vandenberg, and this is to finish off Ryan Searle in the tournament. 59. Right wobbles. And so Game cleans shot. up, and for the second successive day here at the Super Series, we are going the distance in the decider. I mentioned three or four legs ago that the ace in the pack was the fact that he had the darts. He's now got to use this start to the best of his ability to get his second ranking title. He starts with a 122. Wright is going to get more. 140. One hundred. Well, that ton forty start from right has given him every opportunity. Forty five. That is a bit of a disaster from Peter Wright, handing the initiative back to Ryan Searle. Got to go downstairs. One hundred beautifully done. Thirty nine. And he might be four darts away from winning that second ranking title. He right. really has stuck in there. He survived the one match dart, of course. And I tell you what, he beat 41. Michael Van Gerwen to win his first PDC title, Ryan Searle. He might be about to beat Peter Wright to see his second. 28. Not quite there yet. Oh, that one was a bit edgy. That did not work out the way he planned. And Wright has got to get to 170 here. And he's not going to. So Ryan Searle's got six from 112. 100. What a dreamy position this is. Well, just 40. Signs of shakiness from Searle at the especially, end of this match. Especially Murph on that last start because he should have gone treble 17. You said he had six from 112. He might end up with just one dart at double here. But it might be tops, though. It's something 99. he loves. And he might need it right now. Single for that tops. And Game it's in the bank. And the match. A second ranking title for Ryan Searle. That double top has been his best friend all day long. He did survive a match dart from Peter Wright. But it is Ryan Searle that prevails today. Chris Murphy, what a final. That has been for the second day in succession. Yeah, brilliant drama here on PDC TV. Two days on the spin.